Hello everyone, this is Girl with the Guitar, and I'm about to make the quickest possible um, tutorial on how to create a track using my current track making methods, this time being Apple Pages. I'm not sure how much you can translate over from Apple Pages to Microsoft Word, but hopefully this does kind of at least give you a little primer. So if you can see here, the background image I'm using is just this stock advanced image fill here um, with the dark green to simulate grass. Now. I normally would want to use kind of an actual real life location, but just for simplicity's sake here, um, I'm just using this image here. So to create the actual track surface itself, and we're going to keep it easy here, um, we're just going to take these, uh, this feature up here, the little draw feature, the little pen, draw off the pen tool, and we're just going to drag it around here to where we want it to be. Now the first part you're going to notice here is it just draws straight lines. If you want them to be curved, you're gonna have to go in here to curve them to your desired curve. And then once you put in that curve, you can add more curve this way, for example, and you can kind of just go wherever you want with that. Um, so let's just finish this up here, and then we're gonna go here, and then back to there. And you can move all these kind of little notes around and it makes it pretty easy, honestly. So I'm gonna, uh, oh, and double clicking them does turn the line straight, which does help. And erasing them just erases them, which is also good to know. So let's just get a nice little triangle oval shape here, all right? So that's our track shape. So first we're gonna wanna take this line and edit it to look a bit more like a track. So I usually kind of go with one of these two colors here, depending on how old the track is supposed to be. Um, this time I'm going to just go with the darker gray color. And we'll make it about 10 pixels wide here, or 10 points wide. Uh, and so actually let's make it 20 so it's a little easier to see. And so as you can see, it's pretty self-explanatory there. You know, the line just gets wider. Um, so now uh, there's a little bit kind of more pizzazz that I add to my tracks here. Um, Specifically in this one here, I'm going to add an outline. So all I do for that one is I just copy and paste the shape I had before and make it a little thicker and then just send it behind. And then just bring it back forward and there's your track outline. You don't have to do any complicated procedures or anything. And then if we want to add maybe kind of like that Circuit of the Americas kind of outline to it as well. Again, you're just going to take this shape here that you copy and pasted, make it a little wider the outline color, let's use red. Um, go back here to the sending it back and then forward, and then there's your outline. It's pretty easy. Um, so then when it comes to creating the actual track barriers, pretty simple too. Again, you just use that draw with pen tool that you have, the free draw, and it just kind of draw the walls where you want them to be. So let's just draw a couple quick walls here for demonstrative purposes. One, two, three. And we're about done here for the most part. We'll move some nodes around here. And that looks like decent enough runoff for a five minute video. So again, you want to add in um, runoff, it's a pretty similar process, just get that pen tool again, draw the runoff to the shape you want the runoff to be in, let's just draw a random shape here, and there we go, move that around, and you can choose the fill here as, uh, let's get it rid of the border, you can either choose the fill obviously as like a track surface, like it's paved runoff, or what I like to do sometimes is go to this advanced image fill. Um, kind of gives you this texture look. And I'd go for this color up here or this one here, which helps uh, simulate dirt or gravel. You want to maybe go in here and change the color around a little bit to get more like gravel color. Um, and then everything else here in the program to create a track is very similar. You know, you want to create a pit lane. There you go, you just create your pit lane where you want to go. We'll put it there, make it wide, turn it dark 
colored, send this to the back, get these line up straight, send it back. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> back forward, and then there's your outline. Um, and then the last, probably most important part here is going to be uh, with this shape here. Let's say we want the infield to be entirely paved, right? We're going to go to the color here um, instead of the just no fill, and then you can obviously choose whichever color you want the infield to be. In this case, obviously, we want paved, so we're just going to choose kind of this pavement color. Um, otherwise, here we have this advanced image fill again, so you can choose, a, you know, maybe a different color of grass here. Maybe a lighter color of grass for the infield and the outfield. Um, so that is pretty much it for my track designs. Obviously, there's a little more to it. Um, and I'm not going to give away every secret in this video. But I did think that, you know, it might help for some of you who kind of want entry-level track designing system. Because for me, this happens to work really well. So I hope you found this video helpful. And I do hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.